of, uh, I think this is a 1970s uh, GM alternator. And uh, it's all pretty standard, I guess. You've got the coils here, which I, I'm not sure. Are we going to remove those? No, Can the coils will stay here. Those coils will stay, okay. And um, I suppose in here we've got the voltage regulator and some other hardware. And um, basically the important thing that we want here is the, um, the whole rotor, then this whole, this whole um, assembly that we've got so that uh, Alex can put in his uh, special magnets and, um, and make his generator, his efficient generator. So that's the plan. Yes, we will remove actually this part. Okay. This part. Additional okay. magnets. Okay. Yeah. And we will remove uh, all this part like brushes uh-huh brushes we don't need brushes there at all we will remove the brushes but we will remove all this part and we will remove all this part this part we will remove for sure because that uh, mm -hmm. for brushes we don't need brushes and uh, no. we don't need the wings too how, instead of brushes, how is the electrical connection going to be made? Uh, it will be go straight from magnet uh, to coils, and we will use like a okay. uh, to get el electricity from that alternator uh, to use. Okay. Is it understandable? What are brushes? Okay. In a sense, it's transferring the from here. You need a way to transfer the electricity between a moving part and a stationary part. So here you've got a moving part and and these these contacts here that make. Can you see those that make yeah. contact with these these brushes here? So they'll they'll be rubbing against this and making an electrical connection. Uh, okay. And this is moving, and you can see the the ridges that are made there from uh. that. And uh, I, I can explain how, how it works. The electricity uh, from one wire, from wire, one wire, goes there, 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 inside to one brush. Through one brush, it goes, electricity then runs through this ring. Okay. And it activates inside like electric magnet. Is it right? Yeah, if you, if you yep, if you look inside, you see a coil in there. Can you see the coil? That's yeah. The, so elect, electromagnet. Then I will disassemble that. I will show. So your plan is to put permanent magnets yes. in here. We will remove that electric uh, magnet. Yeah. Uh, with this part and this part, and we we will set up 14 uh, permanent magnets. And. What kind of magnets? Uh, it should be great. Uh, 52. Okay. What are they and made of? Size. Uh, yeah, yeah, they do. What? What? Uh, they do. That's the strongest grade. Of what they have right now. What material? What? What? Um, uh, neodymium uh, ferrum bore. Okay. okay. It makes it. And they plated a uh, uh, first uh, layer, but uh, by uh, copper. Uh -huh. And second layer by uh, nickel. Okay. It's uh, like stamps, not rust. Okay. And so the idea is that we're going to be making a an efficient generator. It should make uh, more. Uh, it should produce more energy. 
or in uh, a regular alternator. Right. So, in terms of efficiency, what sort of efficiency? If you could give a percentage. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. You have an estimate. We'll see, uh, but it depend. It depends uh, what the size of the magnets we will see. Uh, we will uh, fit inside. Okay. And what what makes it unique? What makes it different from uh, from a regular generator? Uh, from regular generator, uh, as a big difference, we will use electric uh, circuit here. Uh, uh, I still keep the circuit and uh, the design in uh, secret because it's patentable part. Okay. It's very, very, very patentable, and uh, then we will see. <laughs> okay. So you'll you'll put that together, and then uh, and then event eventually I'll see. Yeah. I'll see how, how it works. Because it's magnetic resonance. And uh, when you shake something, shake, 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 mm. uh, you can see like um, it shaking a little bit by itself. It's like inertia. I inertia. Mm. Uh, is it right? Yeah. Inertia. In inertia. Uh, yeah. yeah. Of uh, electromagnetic waves. Right. And we will use this inertia uh, for our purpose. Okay. So the plan is, uh, we're still recording, right? Okay, we so will, we will uh, make like, uh, um, not twice, it should be four times more power than a uh, regular alternator. So four times, makes, okay. Yeah, more than four times. But uh, right now I can say for sure, if you will use the uh, cheapest magnets as you mm -hmm. can find, Like um, it costs like uh, thirty-five bucks, yeah, thirty-five dollars, Canadian okay. dollars. And the more and expensive uh, ones, it's fourteen magnet. Uh, each of them like uh, one dollar and a half, two dollars. Okay, let's say mm. two dollars, twenty-eight dollars, uh, all set for forty uh, uh, fourteen uh, poles mm. for this alternator. Okay. Because this alternator uses uh, 14 poles to activate uh, the coils. Okay. Also, it's not big, uh, not very expensive, and we'll see what we can what we can find in that new design. Yeah. Probably it will change our world at all to electric. Because gasoline dependence, that's very hard because Canada not so rich really for oil, mm. and we make like alternative project to use electric uh, cars and electric bicycles for our own purpose.